your girl and I'm back baby it's been rough I'm hungry y'all oh my gosh I took out some black eyed peas that I made for the new year how y'all doing y'all okay okay all right you, you good leave it in the comment section below how, how's that baby doing okay good I don't want to forget about my good good girlfriends and my aunties uncles cousins nieces and, 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 my, and my children <laughs> so uh, I'm hungry y'all. I took out some black eyed peas that I made for the new year. I took them right out of the freezer and I was in my feelings a little bit with these kids. I bought some food at the grocery store. It wasn't much, but you know, I've heard them say, we don't have no food. That irritated me. I'm in my feelings. Do any of your children ever say that? You don't have any food or have you said that back in the day? So I'm unpacking what I bought. I'll show y'all what I bought. I'm not here to say, oh, I could have got that cheaper, should have got, yes, I probably could have. I went to one stump, no, I went to two, and I was done. I'm not a huge bargain shopper at all. I just, I just, I, just, I go and I want to get it over with. Listen, listen, so I bought some stuff, I wasn't catering to specific needs and dietary needs. It's the end of the month or the beginning of the month, however way you want to put it. But, you know, rent due, mortgage due on the first. <laughs> so, um, it's a little rough at the end. Yes, we got food. I'm not saying I need food. I'm not saying that. And I don't have a lot of room in my fridge or freezer either. But I wasn't buying all special things. Sydney wants to do a special diet, Bobby. Well, eating healthy. I don't care what anyone say. When you buy fresh produce every couple of days, that adds up. Sorry, my job as a parent is to buy your buy your needs. What you mean we don't got nothing to eat? We got peanut butter. We got jelly. We got bread. I make sure. Remember, we got the bread and the eggs at the stove. We got bread, eggs, and milk. Make a sandwich. Connie Child got us 59,000 bags of noodles. Make a can of tuna fish. Make some chicken salad. Make you a spam sandwich. Now we don't got no spam, but spam sandwich back in the day used to be the bone. Listen, listen, and it had to be on some white bread, honey. Yes, it had to be on a white bread. And you fry up your spam, put a slice of American cheese up on there. I don't think I put mayonnaise on mine. I just think I, I put mustard. And baby, it gets stuck to the roof of your mouth up there, honey. You could tell me that, but it was good. I should buy one. I should buy a can of spam just for, just for memory sake. It's been a long time. I do remember it was always salty, though. So, I'm going to show y'all what I bought. But, you know, I was really in my feelings because I'm like, what you mean we don't have no food? It may not be what you want to eat. And then when we went to the grocery store, we couldn't, there, was, there were no perishables. That's what it was. There were no perishables. Well, I, I kept it moving. Then I think a few expenses uh, crept up, whatever. Okay, you got to wait till the it, it gets like that sometimes. And I told my kids, I said, what did I say? Let me share with y'all what I said because you know I be forgetting stuff. But I sent them, you know, I sent them a long message. I was, I was just like, I was here, I was here, I was here. It hit me. So what did I say to those girls? I said, I said, I, first of all, I said I am a survivor. And it's my job to provide a roof over your heads and food in your bellies. We may not have what you desire to eat all the time, but there's always something to eat. I said I may not be able to cater to your special food choices, but survival is about making do with what you have. Okay, some people are like, why don't you plan for this? Yes, I did, but I, I was hit hard several times, so this it is what it is. The other people that live check the check too. So it's not just me. Okay. And so the kids almost gone. Yes. It's a sacrifice where we live, what school district they go to and all that stuff. Bobby's basketball, all those are sacrifices that I made for my kids. Hopefully it'll pay off. Well, it has already paid off for, for, for Bobby and for Sydney and Clinton is getting there. So have several seats. If you want to throw me under the bus, have several seats. And when you know how to live with the basics, those are called survival skills. When you look around and you think there's nothing to eat, baby, we got potatoes, 
we got rice, we got quinoa, we got uh some lunch meat, bed, bed. I know how to hook up a meal with some potatoes, honey. You think you at you a five star restaurant? What? What? And then we found I found some sausage in the freezer. That's a bed bed. We got pork and beans, all types of beans, corn, quinoa. You better make you a mustard sandwich. <coughs> what? Well, do you fry you up an egg and put some ketchup and mustard on that thing? A boiled egg sandwich, whatever. Let me see though, what else is up in here? Yeah. Noodles, 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 beans, 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 uh, corn, chicken breast, canned chicken breast, black beans. And let me tell you something, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. When they go, I forgot the name of that store. Chipotle's. Chipotle's. I don't know if Chipotle's is everywhere. I don't know. But listen, listen. When they go to the Chipotle's, what what's what they put in those foods? Rice, cheese, beans. Whatever kind of chopped chicken, well, you are vegan this week, so you're not getting no meat in it. But all that stuff and a little bit of lettuce, because you can get a head of lettuce for nine, 99 cents or, or less, depending on where you go. Make your own chipotle bowl. We got plenty of um, salad dressings in it, and we got sour cream. So what you mean there's nothing to eat? You don't want to make it. You don't want to fix it. That's what you're saying. Mm-mm, baby. It really put me in my feelings. So I'm like, we don't get no food. Yes, we do. Anyway, and I said, and said, when you know how to live on the basics, that's how you survive. Because life is not always gonna be peaches and cream all the time with some expensive, big, fat, juicy, sweet strawberries. No, it's not. And so I said, you gotta make do with that. I said, um, when everything is handed to you and one doesn't know struggle, that's when panic sex and when things aren't going your way. Because you've always had everything. You know, you don't know what struggle is. I said, then you start to panic. <laughs> no, have some, this is survival, okay? Okay, and I said, and there's nothing wrong with people having things handed. If that's your life, that's your life. Good for you. Praise God for you. And I hope you never have to figure out where your next meal is going to come from or how you're going to feed your children. I was also given in that life lesson too. I'm a survivor and life will not always be kind. So pull up your bootstraps and do what it takes to survive. I'm a mother. I'm going to do whatever it takes to survive and provide for my kids, even if it's unfavorable things that many people don't agree with. But if I have to provide and do stuff for my children, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do as parents because that maternal instinct kicks in, which I know I'm getting off topic a little bit, but it really irritates me how some, not all, I'm not talking about all, how some men just walk away from their kids. Like, I don't care, I'm doing me, I'm living my life. It baffles me, and Bobby was saying the other day too, she said she, she just doesn't understand how a father could do that to their children. I don't get it. Even, even me, I'm in that boat too, because my biological father, I remember him vaguely when I was a little, little girl, but I didn't know who he was. I don't know him. I had to look him up on the internet because he's a he 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 used to be an entertainer. Did work with Dion Warwick. Those are old school. That's old school R and B and stuff, you know. So I don't know him. How could he walk away as well? Missing all of this. <clears throat> so anyway, <laughs> and I said I've been doing this alone for a long time. If I look around the house, there's plenty of food. Again, it may not be what you want, but baby, there's plenty up in here. Plenty. And I said, appreciate it when things are good, but be grateful when things aren't. I do not like giving up every red cent of my little hard earned money. And I work hard, I wish teachers got paid over time. And I said, I don't like giving up my money. Y'all keep your little paychecks when y'all when y'all get your little money. Nobody don't go in here and buy no groceries and stuff or pay a bill on anything. And you know, they may work once or twice a week, if that. So, I'm not trying to take that little money. But, baby, I would love to get a paycheck and, and, have it, and have it sit there for several rotations of a pay period and let that pile up. Baby, that sound good. My bank account will be cute. But that's why I said, when Sydney's out the door, 
I don't want any of this. I just want to be free. I don't want no house. I don't want no rent. Let me sleep in my, I'll sleep in my car. That's what I'll do. Maybe I'll let my pay stack up for a while. How about that? So anyway, and um, I said some other stuff and I, I'm not gonna say what the other part I said because when you have somebody just sitting at home, I saw my father do it, saw my brother do it, and just see the other person working hard, come home tired, and then me sometimes come home to a sink full of things. It made my nerves bad, okay? And just to see someone just chilling all day, doing nothing. I think everything that I experienced from my history just came to the forefront and raised my anxiety to the tip top of the mountain and where I couldn't take it anymore. So anyway, I'm not gonna go into that story because I know some people be getting it, getting any feelings about certain people, but baby, I couldn't do it anymore. Anyway, I said, I know how to survive and take care of mine. You need to know how to survive when life doesn't go as planned. I thought I'd be a huge star by now. I sw swear to God, I thought I was going to be a mega star. Let me tell you, I've done some crazy stuff throughout my years, and I just knew it was going to take me to the top, honey. <laughs> it didn't. That's when life doesn't go the way you planned it. I was in my feelings. I was like, okay, guys. We got way too bad, eh? You know, I'll get, you know, some stuff. So let me just show y'all what I bought. It's not all organized and neat like I saw other grocery hauls. But I'm sorry, life is about making do with what you have. You taking your lemons and you making lemonade, okay? I'm gonna insert a picture of my lunch. It is what it is, and it hit the spot. It filled my belly. Was it what I wanted to eat? No. Mm -mm. Oh man, I didn't get. And so there are certain things I like to have in the house all the time that are staples. I like my premium white crackers. I like Ritz crackers, but my premiums, baby, I like that with tuna fish. I could put a tuna fish salad, chicken salad, put it on my crack, good. Ooh, and let me tell you, listen, 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 listen. I know I'm talking a mile a minute. Just, just calm down, right? You ain't doing nothing watching me. <laughs> Thank you. And let me tell you, if you make you some tuna, my tuna fish salad be good. You know I make everything good, right? <laughs> you better ask somebody. You better, you better Google me, boo. That's what you better do. <laughs> anyway, you make your um tuna fish salad whichever way you make it. I have to add relish to mine. I like mine a little sweet. I used to add boiled egg and um shredded carrots, but I I I, I, I don't remember the boiled egg, but I know I used to add egg to it. I don't do that anymore, and I don't have no time to be shredding no carrots. So, bye bye. And so, listen, listen, but let me tell you, you get your premium white cracker and you make your tuna salad whatever way you make it, however you like it, and then you put something on a premium white cracker and then you top it with a peppuccini, a slice of, of a peppuccini. Let me, let me show you peppuccini. Let me show you. Listen, listen. And you get some, some banana peppers, baby, and you take one and you put them on top of that. I hope I'm not blurry. And good good mm. Let's, i can eat that for dinner and be straight i tell you if i if, look i got the kids so it is what it is but baby if i didn't honey i can eat a tuna uh, or a salad um I, I i'm good with making do and not even complain you know what i'm saying so let me show y'all what i got let me take the rest of this meat and i ain't clean up and do all that so it is what it is like y'all sitting around with your house clean 24-7, mine is it. I be tired. Shoot. And sometimes, honestly, I don't really like to bother the girls. I won't bother them. I know responsibility is responsibility. I get all that. You know, it works for some people. Sometimes I just like I can't. And my girls, I would say they're spoiled in that sense. I'm not very, very strict like that. You know, I'll, I'll get on my soapbox sometimes <laughs> and I'll fuss. But sometimes I choose my battles and I know they're great girls. They work hard with school. I see Bobby in the books all the time that she got her little job. Then she works at school as a tutor. Sometimes they be stressed out over exams and this and that and they be at the table grinding. Why would I say, uh-uh, you get up and you do this. And I know they can weave that time and I do know that, I get that. But I'm like, is it worth the argument right now? 
You know what I'm saying? So I pick and choose my battles and I don't really have too many with the girls. I'm like, it's really just the dishes. But I was like, there's so many other things I could be worried about. The dishes, eh. So I just pick and choose and I feel as though, I have my moments, but I feel as though sometimes it's not that serious. It's not that serious, but for the most part, they'll take care of the dishes. So let, so let me get everything else out. And bad, bad, I ate, I don't know what I ate the other day. But I was like, I'm satisfied, but I'm not full. I made some peanut butter and jelly crackers. And then I ate one and didn't want them. I said, Bobby, you want these? She's like, no, I'm full. Cause she had gone out with her friend, with her money. And I was like, did you bring me some? No, kids don't be thinking like that. Well, mine don't. So, make sure y'all, everything I, oh shoot, we need, we need paper towels, but that's that's a luxury. So we won't be getting no paper towels this week because I look at paper towels as, for me, that's that's like extra. I, I do like having them, but not this week. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I purchased. There's one thing that I purchased that was specifically for me. And I did feel a little guilty, but I was like, whatever, I'm grown. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, sometimes I don't want to give up my check full list, but that's what I signed up for when I decided to have children. But you know, it is what it is. I almost have an empty nest. I'm, not, I'm there. I'm, I'm, I made it. I made it, y'all. Kids are alive, doing okay. I made it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was not easy but it is doable so if you're in a situation where you are a single mom or a brand new single mom baby you got this pull up your bootstraps don't be stressing the man just keep it moving or dad keep it moving do what you can do don't worry about what the other person is not doing you might be in your feelings you have your moments but focus on the things that you can control and you can do and just make it happen. It is what it is that you get frustrated. I, ha I do have my moments and he paid no child support. Years ago, I let it go. I, I just let it go. I said, I can't get keep getting myself upset over what he's not doing, really. I had to let it go. So I just focused on what, what Joy can do. And we survived. We survived. We're all right. We're all right. I did go to Sam's Club and I have a three item cart rule. You go to Sam's Club or Costco or whatever it is in your town, baby, you be putting all this good yummy stuff up in your cart. Honey, you get up to the register and I'll be ready to faint. I'm like, whoo, what can I put back? Because that bill is saying 400 and something dollars. I didn't plan on that. I just came in for some cereal. So now when I go in, three items in the cart, I'm done, I'm out of there. But this time I put four. So I got peanut butter. I don't know, the peanut butter disappears around here. I think Bobby makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day. So I did get this from Sam's Club because I think it's a better price. Uh, what else did I get from Sam's Club? Um, to control the dishes and when you just don't wanna, you trying to warm up something, this will last us several months. So this was, I would say that that's our luxury item, okay? You do, and I do paper plates, I don't do styrofoam because it's not biodegradable and it does not do well in the microwave, so I do paper plates. Yes, that was a treat. And then I got cereal. This was $6 for two big bags of cereal. The, my girls like cereal, or they'll just put this in a plastic baggie and eat it as a snack. And I got something else from Sam's Club, but I don't remember what it was. Because, you know, when you get stuff from Sam's Club, show it was something else. All right, so we got bananas. Um, the girls like bananas. Um, now, this was something that Bobby wanted. We both wanted. I got feta cheese and because we wanted a Greek salad. And I told her I wasn't buying a Greek salad. We could make our own Greek salad. And, baby, I just, I just got a little can of olives because the ones in the jar, they were $5. I was like, I would not be buying that. Um, some lettuce. Yes, I could have bought a head of lettuce, but this is what I wanted. So, have several seeds. And I bought the freezer bags, and I'll tell you why I bought these. And 
We like the HEB, it's a grocery store out here. We like their Ritz crackers. I mean, these crackers instead of Ritz crackers. They're the same, but it's something about these off-brand crackers that we love. And this was actually a treat too for the salad. Because <laughs> I said, we are not ordering a Greek salad. We're gonna make our own. So just think of the savings there. And cottage cheese. We like cottage cheese. I think this was a dollar and change. We like cottage cheese, tomato, salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, some cheese, tomatoes. Yes, once again, I'm not going to say this again. Yes, we could have found different um, deals, but I'm one-stop shopping and I didn't get the, the banana peppers. I only bought one little thing of sausage. The girls like to make hot breakfast every morning. They get up and make their own breakfast every morning. They make an egg sandwich or whatever. Um, one avocado. Because Sydney likes that. And these things be going bad if you forget your avocado. I did get meat. So we got chicken fajitas, which we all love that. And it's a little pricey. So I might separate that into two bags. All the meat I'm going to separate into two bags. So that's what I'm going to do with the meat. So I got some pork chops. Yes, we eat pork. Okay, for you non-pork eaters, that's good for you. But that's what we do. My, my camera died, so I don't know what you got. So I got the meats. I'm going to separate all the meats. Um, and the vitamin two, so that's several different meals we have here that we can do. The chicken legs, I'll leave that because we just eat on those all week. Cereal, we like to add spinach to our smoothies. I got this big bag of frozen strawberries for our smoothies. That's what we, that's what we like. It may not be what you like. Um, I was going to get another big bag of peaches, but they were expensive. Um, steak fries, these were, these were a dollar and change. This was Sydney's treat. She likes her sweet potatoes, so that was a treat for her. This is the type of bread that we get. This was on sale, honey. This was a dollar fifty. That was on sale. I was going to make some meatballs and gravy. I got some broccoli. Tortillas, because sometimes we'll do breakfast tacos in the morning. This was my little treat for me that I'm probably going to make in a little while. I just like it with some ice, and you don't even have to have other stuff in it. These were um, the kids. They do their hot breakfast. They make their own breakfast in the morning. This is what we get. We That's like a staple in the house. I didn't see any at Sam's Club because you will get a better deal on that. Cheese. I got cheaper cheese. Um, we like cheese in our eggs. Peppers, we like that in our salads. Spring mix. So I got this, really, the spring mix to go with our salad. You know, we, we like the combo, combo, okay? And um, Bobby, she loves these, um, these cucumbers. But baby, last time I bought them, she didn't eat them. So sometimes when I try to get, you know, like healthier options and stuff, it just sits there. It sits there. So I did get the Ziploc baggies, I'm going to separate the meat. I'm going to clean out the freezer and then I'm going to put the meat away and separate all the meat. Now, I'm not going to put it in the fridge because nobody will do it. Nobody be like, oh, I know she wants the meat. Nobody's going to do it. Yeah, I could probably yell and blah, blah, blah. Like, nobody's home right now, so I'm going to sit and wait. So I'll just do it while I have the energy. And that was my little haul because I feel like if you have meat, we got tons of rice. We got tons and tons and tons of quinoa, tons and tons and tons of pancake mix and noodles. You can always throw some meat in your stuff or make a stew or something like that. So I feel like if you have a meat, you can really make a meal. and Or you can go vegan for the day. How about that? Anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you like my haul and my little rant on my soapbox. Yes, I know there are always ways to get things a little less expensive, order, order your food online, but... Sometimes I just like walking the aisles and I had to drop Bobby off to work. So they called her into work when she wasn't expecting it. So she's going to California for spring break. She paid for her own ticket. So she's trying to save her little money uh, for California. And I get that. So it'll be her first official. She's 18. Oh my God, I can't believe she's 18. It'll be her first official spring break vacay. But she's going to be with adults. Boop, boop. And I'm happy for her. I'm excited for her. So, with that said, please give this video a thumbs up or not, you know. And make sure you hit your post notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. Alright guys, have a good day and I will catch you later. Bye y'all!